Let's look at the solutions for chapter 13 practice problems. Um, first question, uh, we, again, we're going to be using this diagram. What would we, con would we consider the tree free or rooted? So if you look in 13.1, Introduction to Trees, you'll see a couple of figures where one is a free tree and one is a rooted tree. Rooted trees pretty much have a specific organization where you have something at the top. Everything else kind of uh, is organized in levels below that. So this is a rooted tree. What is the height of the tree? Well, starting at the bottom and moving our way up, that we would have one and then two and then three would be the height. If we go to point A and we want to know what the level is, it's at the very top, that's going to be level zero. Then we move down one, two, we want to know all of the um, vertices that are going to be in level two, that would be D, E, and F. Name the parent of vertex J. So here's J, and if we go back, we will find that F is going to be its parent. List all the ancestors of point H. So find H, and then just kind of follow your way all the way up to the root. We have D, B, and A. Is vertex G a child of A? So here's G, um, the parent would be D. Um, a is going to be uh, an ancestor, but it's not going to be a parent. Um, and then, of course, G won't be a child of A. Let's so make sure you understand that uh, parent-child relationship. List all descendants of vertex C. So here's C, and then if you go all the way to the bottom, you'll see that F, J, and K are going to be descendants. Um, list all leaves on the tree. The leaves are going to be the elements on the last level. So we're going to have G, H, I, J, and K. And then our vertices D, E, and F, all siblings. So here's D, E, and F. Uh, we said that they were on level two. Um, if you look at D and E, they have the same parent, but F doesn't have the same parent. So they're not going to be siblings. Um, D and E are going to be siblings, but F would not be a sibling of that since the parent of F is C.